touching the truth. Hello, kings and queens. My name is I, King Skies, and today we are going to be talking about WWE and its future plans. Now, the future plans consist of, obviously, WWE Payback 2020 is going to have Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton again, possibly. But something else is intriguing about the future of WWE. WWE is holding a draft. Another one. They pushed back the idea a couple of times, but it is slated to take place this October. Inside... Yes, you guessed it, the Thunderdome. <laughs> the company has a lot of options on the table, but a roster shuffle looks like it is coming. Um, during the uh, NXT TakeOver interviews and stuff like that, Triple H confirmed that another draft is coming. Ringsider uh, news has said the game also slated that fans will see how the mindset has changed in this new pandemic era as the WWE draft commences. Quote unquote, this is his words, this definitely has changed the mindset. There is different protocols and procedures. Hey, we like to move this talent. We like to do that. You'll see that coming up in the draft later this year. You definitely have to think about it a lot more and think about those changes. But I think long term and it's better for everybody. So obviously Triple H is a little hype <laughs> for the draft. But I wanted to talk about the possibilities that we can get in the WWE draft. I mean, I I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I need a WWE draft because this Shit has been dry. I mean, Sasha Banks and Bayley going over to SmackDown Raw, SmackDown and Raw just to make it a little more interesting. But Jesus Christ, it has been really dry. It's the same stupid stars over and over and over again. And this is, I like the WWE Draft. Some people say it's useless and that we shouldn't have a WWE Draft, but it brings another aspect to the WWE. But I like the draft, but after a while, it just gets boring. Like, you shouldn't have a draft go in this long. And I know it's a draft, and you have to make it like, you know. But I just don't think it should be that long. When was the last time we've had a draft? So, anyway, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> Braun Strowman. And please, um, if somehow a WWE writer is, is looking at this video, please do not put Bray Wyatt and The Fiend on, <laughs> on one separate show like you did the last time. They're not supposed to be two different people. I get it. Bray Wyatt is supposed to be a different person from The Fiend, but don't split them up. You're splitting them up by doing that. And it doesn't make sense that Bray Wyatt is on SmackDown and The Fiend is, was on Raw. Or was it the other way around with the draft? I don't even remember. That's how long ago it was. But a WWE draft. What do you guys think about it? Um, I think it was pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. And I can't wait. October, here we come. Anyway, my name is I, King Skies. If you like this content, subscribe, like, and comment down below who do you think is going to get drafted to Raw or SmackDown, and high hype are you for the WWE Draft? My name is I, King Skies, Kings and Queens, thanks for watching. But what do you do when there's no place to turn? I have no...